welcome to Big Sexy Reviews, Summer of Star Wars. Today, we're doing Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. This film was written and directed by George Lucas, and it introduced two new people to the cast, Christopher Lee as Count Dooku, and Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker. Overall, like all the prequel movies, they're not the best. They're not the peak of Star Wars movies, but... Still a part of it, still just as important, like I said with my episode 1 video. It's a part of Star Wars. You have to watch it. It's a part of the story that you love. Although the writing is a dialogue nightmare, it was very... Everything is very awkward and creepy, especially the conversations between Anakin and Padme. He just comes off as super creepy and it's... It's so strange to watch. It's almost painful at some points of the movie. Outside of that, you know... Their dialogue is the worst of them all. There's some bad points and with other characters and other conversations, but they're the focal point of the bad dialogue for the movie. Mainly because, you know, most of the dialogue comes from them. Every other scene is a Anakin Padme scene, it feels like. At, at, two, at 2 hours and 22 minutes, it's a long one. Especially with, you know, the CGI being 90% of the film's backdrop. And again, with the, the rough dialogue. It, it's a tough one to sit through. The first half of the movie is very painful. I don't really like the first half. The first act, for me, ends with Anakin attacking the Sand People Village. I don't like sand pocket sand and then immediately after that it, it picks up with act two where they go to the geonosis and the droid foundry and the massive coliseum battle and it it's a visually again all green screen but it's visually really pleasing and enjoyable i love that scene i love that whole close to the movie seeing you know anakin think he can take on dooku by himself and then just the battle, Yoda coming in and showing that he's this super powerful Jedi because we don't get the, we don't see that in Episode One at all. Get, being able to see it in Episode Two is awesome, and then just for you know Dooku to get away and the whole establishment of the plot and the story arcs for the third movie is really great. Overall, you know, I give the first half of the film a four out of ten just because, like I said, it, it is very all over the place very badly dialogued and just really awkward to watch at points but then act two of the film i give a 6.75 out of 10 just because you know it does redeem itself a lot and it it makes the movie much more enjoyable and it just it's a, it's a lot of cool stuff going on you get the clone army and then with the music the music really picks up and the, it you know it hits this huge high point for the film with all of the battles and you just feel it crashing in they bring Duel of Fates back into it all the end of the film is a lot of fun music definitely is the redeeming quality of episode 2 as always the prequels aren't the, aren't the prime of the Star Wars franchise you know that, I know that but you still have to enjoy them you know the big thing to remember with the prequels is all in all, they are a springboard to the original trilogy. They are the backstory. You know, you have to trim away all that fat to get to the good meat. But with Episode 2, it's the start of the Clone Wars. And as all of you know, there is an amazing Clone Wars animated series to watch, which connects 2 and 3 beautifully. It makes the prequels make sense. It connects the story into this really beautifully intertwined web of storylines. And quick thought here about Hayden's dialogue and for Anakin. Maybe George did the dialogue like that intentionally. You know, being that he is he's a 19-year-old boy whose only interaction with another woman, for all we know, is mostly with his mother by this point. He's been in the Jedi Order for 10 years. He doesn't, he's not, he doesn't really understand interaction between a man and a woman so maybe it's just he's just awkward and he doesn't know how to express himself so maybe that could be the explanation for why the dialogue's weird i'm by no means excusing it it's it's bad it was a bad thing for george lucas to think oh everyone's gonna understand that if that was his intention i don't know 
I'm not George Lucas. Attack of the Clones brings us in to the Clone Wars, which spawned the animated series, which is amazing, done by Lucasfilms and Netflix eventually. I love the Clone Wars animated series. It is a beautifully spun web of storylines and story arcs. The original release dates were out of order. There is lists online where you can find the actual chronological order to watch the episodes. But even out of order, it's still a phenomenal show. And it makes... It bridges the gap between episodes 2 and 3. It shows Anakin's fall. And, you know... The, like, the Chancellor's corrupt... Like, his hooks digging into Anakin and him, like, veering him towards him. It... It makes the swift change of Anakin's character from 2 to 3 make so much sense. Phenomenal series. I loved it. It's definitely, for me, it's it's definitely an 8 out of 10. The whole thing gets that rating. Yeah, there's a few weird episodes in there. But overall, it's it's an amazing series. Definitely worth checking out if you, ha if you like Star Wars. Worth every second. But this has, this comes to the end of Big Sexy's Summer of Star Wars Part 2, Attack of the Clones, and a little brief overview of the Clone Wars. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks, everybody, again for watching. If you like the video, give us a like. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm going to try and post every week. Subscribe to us right down here. If there's any, if there's any movies you want to see me do, Throw them down in the comments. As well, we're going to put the trailer for this movie in the uh, description right down below. Thanks again, guys.